Now, so far you've learned how to use trigonometry in right triangles. A right triangle just means that there's a 90 degree angle in the corner. And so if we have a triangle like this that has a 90 degree angle in it, then we can use our regular or our primary trig ratios. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta opposite over adjacent. That's the Sokotoa, maybe that's how you remember those. So, so we've done that kind of thing. And maybe more recently, we've learned how to find uh, angles and sides in triangles that do not have 90 degree angles in them. And specifically, you probably looked at acute triangles. Acute triangles are where the angles are less than 90 degrees. So all of the angles in this triangle are less than 90 degrees. And we learned how to use the sine law to find those and we learned how to use the cosine law to find those, depending on which pieces of information were given. So the sine law and the cosine law worked in triangles that did not have a 90 degree angle in it. These primary trig ratios worked when there was a 90 degree angle in the triangle. So the question now is, what happens if our triangle has an angle that is more than 90 degrees? Those are what we call obtuse angles. So we're going to eventually look at obtuse angles, angles that are more than 90 degrees. But it turns out that there's a relationship between angles that are more than 90 degrees and angles that are less than 90 degrees. So let's check these angles out here. These are, these are acute angles because they're smaller than 90 degrees. And let's try to, f let's just go to the calculator here and find out what the sine of 30 degrees is. So get the calculator over here. And let's clear this thing off. Make sure that we are in degrees, good. So I'm gonna punch in the sine of 30 degrees. And this is gonna give me the opposite over hypotenuse ratio of 0 0.5. So sine of 30 equals 0 0.5. Check out what happens when I take 180 and minus that 30 degrees. So if I take 180 and minus this angle, I'm going to get 150 degrees, which now is an obtuse angle. Check this out. Watch when I go sine of 150. Look, see that? I get the exact same ratio, 0 0.5. So let's see if that's true for this other angle. So let's try the sine of 42 degrees. So if we were going to figure out a triangle that had an angle of 42 degrees, the sine ratio, which is opposite over hypotenuse, would be approximately 0.669. So if I go 180 minus 42, that would be 138 degrees. Let's see if that's exactly the same ratio. It is 0.669. So it's looking like if you have an acute angle, that if you go 180 minus that acute angle to get the obtuse one, the obtuse angle is exactly the same as the acute angle. Let's just check this one last one here. Sine 70 degrees. So sine of 70 is point well, 0.94, I guess, 0.94. And 180 minus 70 would give us the exact same ratio, so that should be 110 degrees. And sine 110, there's our same ratio again, 0.94. And so we're not going to go into the proof for why this is true, but you should know that the sine of any angle is exactly the same ratio as 180 degrees minus that angle. So this would be true for any angle. Any angle here, like 30 or 42 or 70, will give you the exact same ratio as if we put in 150, 138, and 110, which we got by going 180 minus our original angle here. So that's one of the one of the identities um, 
for the sine of an angle. Let's look at a couple other identities. And it turns out that for a cosine and for tan that it's almost the same. So the cosine of an angle will be equal to the exact same thing as the cosine of 180 minus the angle, but it'll come out with the opposite sign. Same thing with tangent. So let's just check this. Let's, let's do a couple of angles. We'll do 32 degrees and 80 degrees. So the cosine of 32 degrees is point eight four eight and the cosine of a hundred and eighty minus thirty two let's just figure this out hundred and eighty minus thirty two that would be a hundred forty eight so if we did this cosine of one forty eight it's exactly the same but with a with a negative uh, in front of the ratio, so negative 0.848. And we'll check that with 80. So cosine of 80 is 0.174. And then so cosine of 180 minus 80, which would be 100 degrees, the obtuse one should be the exactly the, the same as the acute one here, but with uh, negative in front, so let's check that out. Cosine of 100 should come out to be negative 0.174. Yes, it does. And the same thing should be true with tan. So if we tried the tangent of 32 degrees, point six two five. Let's try the tan of 148, which would be 180 minus 32. And we get the exact same ratio, but with a negative in front, negative 0.625. And I won't try, I won't try the other one here, but it would obviously be true as well. So these are two other identities that we have for the obtuse angle. Cosine of any angle is the same thing as cosine of 180 minus the angle, but with an opposite sign. And the tangent of any acute angle is the same thing as tan 180 minus that angle, but it'll come out with a negative ratio instead. So those are some uh, need to know uh, identities for the obtuse angles.